What's up everyone and here we go with another GPU unboxing, this time the ASUS AMD Radeon RX 6600. This is not the overclock edition or the XT model, if you're interested in that, check out my videos on the top. However, this is a great GPU that also includes 8GB of DDR6 memory and it is great for 1080p gaming, stay tuned if you wanna know how to overclock this GPU. I got this GPU from Micro Center for a price of $449. This is a great price as it comes with Windows 11 ready, Adobe Creative Cloud for one month and also one month of Game Pass. Let's go ahead and see the unboxing.
As you saw the unboxing, the GPU has better, faster and stronger fans than the previous model. I also believe that these fans are better than the MSI and the Power Color editions of the 6600. The reason is because these fans maintain the temperature at the correct level, also they get less dusty. Moving on to demonstrate how you connect it to your motherboard, I decided to connect this GPU to a riser and also connect the PCI to it. If you're interested how to make a mining rig with this card, check out my video at the top. The hash rate overclocked is 28 mega hash per second. Moving on, since this is an AMD card, not an Nvidia card, I don't recommend overclocking this GPU with MSI Afterburner. However, I really recommend overclocking this GPU with the AMD Radon software. To overclock this GPU with the AMD Radon software, simply you have to download the AMD Radon software and go to the performance tab. Once you're in the performance tab, you can see the metrics of your GPU. In this case, I have a couple of these GPUs. To overclock, simply you have to click on tuning and enable the custom tuning. Once you enable the custom tuning, enable the GPU tuning, the VRAM tuning and also the fan tuning. You can do the settings that I did for this GPU, but these are the maximum settings. You may also need to do some trials and error in order to get a stable system because all GPUs are not made the same so the tuning for them are all a little bit different. Another simpler method is on the tuning control panel, click on the undervolt and overclock and it does it automatically for you. If you want to know how to do it custom, definitely check out my other video where I show you how to do it and have a, a stable system. If you have any question about this video, feel free to comment below. Other than this, thank you so much for watching this video and have a great day.